Hey survivors, just wanted to make a quick video. Um, I, I've seen a lot of people complaining uh, on the forums and on Reddit uh, how deadly dogs can be early on in the game and how difficult and challenging they are. So I figured I'd put a video together kind of showing some of the uh, strategies that I use to, to deal with dogs early on in the game. They are challenging, don't get me wrong, but not impossible to deal with. Um, so I just wanted to show that I'm starting off completely from scratch, brand new map, brand new character, um, and uh, I'll show you guys some of the tricks that I do anyways to, to stay alive when dogs attack. So really early on I wanted to kind of just go directly to the city because that's where dogs are, so you'll be able to see that pretty much right out of the gate um, I set a waypoint to the city and just start looting everything that I can and walking towards it. Um, one of the things that I look for first off is um, anything like gunpowder and scrap metal. Those are the key things that I look for so that I can create mines. So you can see in my inventory real quick there that I did have some gunpowder. I think I have about 18 or 20 or something like that. And basically I'm jumping around looking on the ground for bird's nest so I can make arrows. That's hugely important, obviously. And stones. But I'm also jumping in the hopes to see either... Um, coal or potassium nitrate so that I can make more gunpowder. So the reason why I'm looking for gunpowder is to either create a blunderbuss or because uh, that'll help you deal with dogs though the weapon is very loud but also dealing with uh, dogs can be done with mines and you can make mines pretty much right out of the gate really early on in the game you don't need a book or anything like that um, so a lot of people don't choose to not do that, and I'm not sure why, but it's a very effective tool for handling dogs. As I get closer to the city, this ground is made with um, basically loose stone or destroyed stone, and it uh, is a great resource for harvesting rocks, so it's a good, if you want to, if you're looking to get lots of rocks early on, it's it's very easy to, to get a lot of rocks here. So, um, as you can see, I did just pick up uh, some glue. Glue can be used to make, uh, with cloth, glue can be used to make uh, duct tape, and duct tape can be used with scrap metal and gunpowder to make a pressure plate mine, which a lot of people either don't use or forget exists, but I'll show you guys that. Also, I look for lockers, because um, they contain a lot of cloth, which will allow me to uh, turn my cap into cloth, and then I can turn my cloth and glue into duct tape, and my duct tape into a pressure plate mine. So then I'm going to keep that in my belt, so if a dog does happen to come across, it can be used to, uh, to defend myself, and I'll show you guys that in a little bit. So I'm getting pretty close to the city, I can actually see the buildings off in the distance now. Um, so now you need to be really hyper vigilant and take a look around at your surroundings and see what's coming at you. And as you can see, sometimes the ground isn't always what comes after you with things that are flying in the air. So being a good shot helps, but luck also helps, obviously. Um, I can see off in the distance there is a dog over there, so I was hoping to get some honey out of this bee, and honey is a natural antibiotic, so if I did get an infection while I was in the city, then, uh, then I would be okay. So now I'm trying to get this dog's attention. I've put the mine down, the pressure plate mine. The dog senses me. It doesn't know exactly where I am yet, because I don't have my aim very well centered here, so it's not doesn't quite see me, and on that or now it sees me. So I'm taking some shots at it, I'm hoping it's going to run over the mine, but it did not. And I can see off in the distance, and here off in the distance, there is another dog that uh, was detected as well, so I was going to try and get him to run by the mine, but not get too close, otherwise I'd blow myself up. That would be bad. And now I'm going to get on top of this car, and uh, this did strategy didn't work out too, too well. It used to be a lot better, but the dogs wouldn't be able to jump up on the car there. But it's a good idea to try and do that anyways. It gives you a couple seconds, and if my swings were a little more lucky, I would have been able to defend myself a little better. I always keep my mine in my tool belt, and uh, cause you never know when another dog is going to attack. Like right about now, I can hear a dog coming. So, again, you know, just run backwards, be aware of your surroundings, listen 
for anything that's coming because you never know what's around you and just try and be aware um, it's really good to always scan left and right and see what's what's all around you never know what's lurking in the, uh, the bushes case in point um, so the reason why I go to the city is so that I can find a hardware store early on to hopefully get like some better tools, mining tools and things like that. Um, that's the main goal of being in the city also, obviously. It's a good place to find uh, a bookstore so you can get a jump early on with uh, with some of the tasks and things that you're going to need to learn. Um, so one of the first goals of getting in the city is A, get beer, because that'll help you with stamina, and if you need to escape, so you're looking for a store, first of all, to get beer. Because um, it will give you temporary infinite stamina. That's why you're going to the city, because it's pretty much guaranteed to find it somewhere. Um, other than that, you just to map out the city and know what's around, so you can get a hardware store or a gun store, and maybe you get lucky and get a gun. So I did find a hardware store, I did get beer, it's in my toolbox. It's getting pretty late at night now, and... Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking I should either stay in a building or get out of town. So, I haven't really made that decision yet. I keep seeing these dogs. And so I'm going to try the pressure plate again here. Remember, the dog's got to be pretty much running straight for you. And there you go. Problem solved with the dog. Now, it would be a good idea to skin the dogs as you kill them because you want to make leather so you can get your... Um, so you can make your forge, your bellows for your forge. Um, now, I don't have a mine anymore, and I was trying to get another dog to kind of, you know, sort of panic mode. What you can do is try and make up a little nerd tower here to defend yourself. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It probably would have worked if it was just the dog, but I had another guy attacking me, and he stunned me there, so that was a problem. I was able to get away, but I was bleeding out, so I had to use my med kit. Now here's a little trick that if a dog is chasing you, you can throw down a frame and it'll it'll sort of freeze the dog in the frame for for just a few seconds, some, long enough to put some distance between you and the dog. So a lot of people say dogs run too fast and it's hard to get away from them. Well, that is a trick you can use to put some distance between you and the dog. Just drop a frame as he's running to straight directly in front of you or behind you, and that's a good way to do it. So as you can see, it's far enough away, I can take some pot shots off at it. I duck down to get my targeting rectangle and, and get a headshot, a little more success with the headshot. So at this point, um, it's, it's getting pretty late in the evening, so I'm going to go find a place to stay. I'm getting chased, I don't want any more dogs after me, so I'm probably not going to stay in the city. Take a drink of beer, start running, and uh, you know, find a place to stay. And that's it, that's how you survive dogs. Hope everyone... Uh, learned a little bit. Have a good day, survivors.